Welcome to episode 24 of my RPS3. In this episode, I'm scrapping the chain lift system and starting again with a helical lift. So what I've done so far is to remove all of the chain system and clean everything up. Uh, the motor was really kind of rusty and um, not very good. So um, I've taken the liberty of giving it a little coat of black spray paint just to keep it looking good. And I've been planning exactly where to position everything. Um, the good news is that I can just about fit the helical lift system in there without it hitting anything. So I don't think I have to move any of the spaghetti style tracks that are on there. I can, I can squeeze this in just about. Fitting it will be a bit awkward because it is quite hard to get in there. But you know, ho-hum, I've got to do that. And I've also been planning how to build in adjustability. I'll explain that now. I'm going to make a couple of copper plates. One of them will be bent at right angles like this, and the other one will stay flat. Now the right angle one will have some holes on there which will hold the motor vertically and in the upright position. The bottom of the motor will have a small sprocket on it and the bottom plate of this right angle bracket will have a couple of slots. This whole plate will sit on top of a second plate and that will hold the drive axle for the helical lift to rotate on. Now the slots are important because I'm going to use a chain that goes around the drive sprocket and the driven sprocket and in order to adjust the tension of the chain I want to be able to move the sprockets in and out from each other. So the motor will be able to move back to tighten up the chain or move forward to make the chain more loose. So that is adjustability number one. Now the whole plate will then go on to the RBS and again there will be slots in here and this will mean that the whole mechanism, once it's tightened up using these slots, will be able to move forward and back and position the helicoil either in or out from the vertical track. So if you imagine the vertical track kind of attached to this vertical post here. The vertical track will be solid and fixed and then the whole mechanism can slide in and out of that vertical track and that will give me the ability to put to have the balls resting at exactly the right spot because if the gap is too big then the balls fall down and if the gap is too small then the balls can fall into the helicoil and, and come out. So I'm building in two pieces of adjustability. One for the chain tightening and the other one for the ball positioning on the vertical track and this is really good this is a learning curve that I've made having done this kind of project work for about five years now I realized that to build in a bit of adjustability to the really key features like the ball lifts are um, really important I've got the copper plate, I've got the copper wire, I've got the motor, the sprockets, the cardboard templates even. It's time to put on a little bit of time-lapse music and let's get soldering.
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of LBS3 when I shall be fitting the helical lift to the sculpture. Bye!